Hey everyone, welcome to this bundle review of Gintama episode 345 and 346. Let's go. Now look here, Utsuro. Don't talk to Gintama fans about endings, okay? You don't understand. Endings, they're not a good thing, okay? Oh, cool, it's Dabs McGee. He finally appears. Check You're a your loser. <laughs> Loser. Loser. Look at this. Oh look, Gintoki did the Bardock move, that's rad. Excuse me, I'm trying to have a chat with my teacher out of the way! Round two! Oh. Oh, sick one-liner, Shinpachi, at the expense of millions of dollars of losses towards your country's economy. I hope you're happy, you got to sound cool for a few seconds. Yeah, just ignore the fact that she's injured, don't even bother to secure her to Saraharu's back so she doesn't fall. It's not like she saved Gintoki's life or anything! Ew, they're back even though we already saw them again in the Perori arc, but this moment is still epic anyway. Woohoo! Uh, Sogo, do you remember this? Unless you want to repeat of that, shut your mouth. So I like this little piece of dialogue here. It's a little more insight on the involvement of the rest of the world. And it goes to show that despite this story focusing on Japan, the rest of the world is not unaffected. And this! <laughs> What's he doing? Is to go! EVEN FURTHER BEYOND! Okay, so this scene here where they seem to pointlessly hit the machine is absolutely hilarious, and it also reminds me of Dragon Ball Z Abridged, where Goku and Piccolo hit Broly to no effect with similar pathetic sound effects. Alright, I think Gintama's peaked. We can't get better than this. Okay, I stand corrected. I don't know, Edo's team looks solid and everything, you know, they seem to have a good striker, but... I mean, I'm more of a Catnip FC fan, to be honest. I'm, I'm not a bandwagon, I'm not just gonna bandwagon to Edo because they're doing good, you know what I mean? This scene with the Oniwaban coming back and immediately with the hijinks is like the definition of Gintama in most cases. Well shit, the big guns are showing up, and we're only missing the Renho and the Hamekians. Oh, fuck. Fucking Breeza. Hey, welcome back, dickhead. Speaking of dickheads, the Neo Armstrong Cyclone Jet Armstrong Cannon has received its final evolution. This speech by Gengai on how the Amanto took over and the subsequent reaction to it by Japan, it's awesome. Because it mirrors real life, albeit in a very super exaggerated dick joke kind of way. In real life, the massive technological and military advantage of the Western powers caused the shogunate to surrender the nation to the whims of the West. But during that time, Japan learned and adapted around these new technologies and were able to resist the Western powers and transform itself with that very technology that they had introduced to them. In Gintama, it's very much the same. The Tendosho's invasion 20 years ago saw the Japanese at a serious disadvantage. But in the 20 years since their arrival, Japan has adopted to the Amanto's technology and has become a power on par with all of them, and now their resistance is equipped to deal with the threats. Wait, wh where are you going? You just came back! I wanted to make fun of you more! 